Look at how big this is. <gasps> Good morning my loves and welcome to Hakodate in the morning! Oh my gosh, so I've just checked out of the incredible guest house. I've left my luggage there for a few hours but before I left she gave me a photo that her husband took of me yesterday and printed it out for memories so I can always remember the guest house and then she brought out a pair of chopsticks wrapped up in the most beautiful uh, packaging like in a cloth made out of kimonos and it had my name engraved in it. Her husband engraved my name so there's a sushi on it and I've never had personalized chopsticks before and I'm gonna cherish it for the rest of my life like how special is that what a beautiful beautiful touch to remember them by look at the snow <laughs> um, and also want to try and find a present to say thank you to her and her husband as well so maybe some tea and some mochi so yeah let's go while we go on a snowy walk around Hakodate let's do a few fun facts snowfall starts around November until February here and walking around you'll see a few western influenced buildings called the Motomachi district this came by after Hakodate actually opened their ports to foreign trade over 150 years ago look at how tall these snow mounds are it's nearly as tall as me but there's hardly anyone on the roads right now it's still very very early uh, so it's really lovely just and peaceful just walking through and just put my foot in it foot in the snow <laughs> and hearing the sounds i was thinking if anyone's ever played animal crossing especially on the um gamecube years ago you know when it goes to winter and then the snow's there and then you get to like run around and you're making snowballs and snowmen and stuff that's in the sound of the snow it literally sounds identical to the sound now so i'm having like such a nostalgic throwback oh there's a hot vending machine and i want a coffee maybe in a minute i'm gonna hold off well, I'm gonna get coffee in a bit. Despite Google Maps leading me to go along the highway, the snow was so high it literally reached above my ankles and I was wading my way through on fresh snow only for a really kind security man to stop me and basically I think to say that I'm walking the wrong way. And then we were there for about 10 minutes with my Say Hi app trying to translate, signal wasn't working so now I'm going to try and find an ice cream shop instead and then try and get a taxi because there was no one there and there was fresh snow along the highway so let's try and find another route <laughs> All right, so I'm now at Kanamori Red Brick Warehouse. Inside there are jewellery shops, we've got pastries, fashion places, and also patisseries and places just to get some sustenance. So I'm gonna get something to eat and enjoy and then make my way over to the fish market, like a pre-fish market snack. On the left, we have milk and pumpkin flavor, which is a staff recommendation. The one in the middle is purely pumpkin flavor, which is the most popular one, and then milk. So I've ordered the pumpkin one, but they're also known for the milk puddings here. So I wanted to give that a try, 360 yen. They also have some macarons and an assortment of pastries and drinks. And look at how cute this plushie is. I want it, this is gonna be me after Hokkaido. I have my pumpkin ice cream. It was a lot higher than this, but it's so creamy. Imagine exactly like pumpkin as a flavor, but with the most delicious creamy milk. Lactose intolerance be damned. It's so worth it, especially in Hokkaido. You know, for the dairy products. Cheers! Ice cream for breakfast, that is truly adulting and I'm truly living the life. This matcha latte is bright luminous green and drinking it is so milky and thick. I'll be very surprised when I react to this, but do you know what? This would be worth it. I'll look back on this and be like, this is the best matcha. Oh, it's slightly sweetened as well. And it feels so indulgent and I'm loving it. Morning market. 
。OK。Hakodate Morning Market is very popular amongst Japanese travelers. It's open daily at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. if you're visiting between January to April. But come early, otherwise everything closes up by noon. I'm now in the Morning Market. I'll be a little bit late. It's currently 11 o'clock, so all of the madness of the Morning Market has come to a close. But there are still a lot of stalls open. So if you're into seafood and you're thinking of stocking up, then this is a place to get some dried goods, or you can enjoy some fresh produce here as well. They've also got lots of fruits and veggies. I just tried that sample of the grape, which was twenty-two pounds, English pounds for a punnet. So I'm guessing like the sample I had was like a pound or something. But it was so delicious. It was so sweet. I'm like, I can kind of see why it's twenty-two pounds. But the fruit in Japan is known to be elite. I've had some such good like peaches here before, apples here before, grapes, strawberries. Like it's just it's. So 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 good. So if you have the money, then definitely indulge. But I'm just going to look around and see what the produce. But I want to get my hands on some fruit, so maybe. But let me show you around. Oh, and there's also fish tanks as well, so you can see the big old crabs in the tanks. So yeah, that's as, as fresh as it gets, apart from being directly from the shores themselves. Known for its fresh seafood, particularly squid, you'll find food stalls, dining, sharing tables, and money exchange machines as you walk in. And then it opens up to the fresh seafood, squid and crab being the main ones, but there are also fruits. Clothing, dried food, and boxes and boxes of ikira and dried scallops. I wish I could have taken it home. I don't know what place this is, but they're playing a soundtrack, and I'm like, I'm sold. I'm good for marketing. It's here. It could be a really touristy place, but I am sold. <laughs> When I went to Kyoto uh, three years ago, I saw a huge, huge oyster. But in my head, I was like, "Oh no, that's too pricey," and I never got it. And that's always been something I think about on like pretty much a weekly basis. Every time I think of oysters, yeah, they sell a huge one for six pounds, and I'm determined, determined to eat one today. That's how I felt when I didn't eat one. To be honest, like the crying child. All right, I'm actually going to go here for some seafood. So let's go. I've come over to Ajino Ichiban, which is a suokuto, which means casual Japanese restaurant that serves high-quality food, and a taishoku restaurant. I'm so sorry about my pronunciation. It's 4.2. It's nearly opposite the morning market,、um, and it's very, very quiet in here. And they also specialize in set meals. So you get a salad, some pickles, and your main. And by the looks of things, they're really, really known for their seafood ramen. So if you're into that, you want something a little bit hot, and you don't want raw seafood, then that might be an option. But they also do donburi as well. So they've got like the raw sea urchin, the ikura, the salmon roe, the snow crab, and everything in here、um, as a rice bowl. So gonna get one of each, and also some raw sea urchin. But it seems to be run by maybe a husband and wife, brother or sister. Don't assume anything. Friends,、uh, but it's really really lovely and chill, and it's really cute in here. They've got like cute little stickers on the menu, and it's all very like oh adorable. So yeah. Excited to tuck in, and then I'm gonna go next door and have some oysters because they have it out and they don't have oysters in here. But just want some a little bit hot, fresh, and then go next door. Oh, and the one I've picked is this one. It's 1,800 yen, and they only do 10 a day. And I think because one, I might be one of the first people to come in here that I've managed to nab one of them. But you get seven different kinds of seafood. So I'll show you when it arrives. But that's what it looks like. And then you've got a menu of other sets as well. So You've got like rice sets. You've got some dumplings in here as well,、um, and that is that. I mean, one thousand eight hundred yen is about eleven pounds in today's like currency.、Uh, so yeah, you、mm, were so excited. The seaweed presented was undeniably fresh, but the fresh wasabi was only available for premium orders, then coming standard. The ramen was huge and was very generous with seafood. It's a good all rounder if you wanted to have a little bit of everything. I'm about to eat these oysters. It's 1,000 yen. I'm finally living my dream of eating an oyster as big as my hand. Look at how big this is. I'm gonna put some lemon and some honey juice on. Ready? Oh. <laughs> 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 
That was so good! It was so big that when I was chewing it, it took me a good like 15 big chews. It was so creamy, so fresh, had some lemon sauce into it as well. I would have liked some shit like vinaigrette, but you know, it was so, so good. Thank you, Annika, because I eat And uh, oh my gosh, that was so incredible. Guess how much that was for those two oysters as big as my hand. It was 1,000 yen for two. It was six pounds. So it was three pounds each for an oyster this size. It was so creamy and so delicious. And it was everything that I dreamed it would be for the past few years. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> and imagine that it is all fresh because the morning market is right opposite as well. So I could go home and be happy. No, but I'm not going to go home for this more to eat. And after all of that excitement, it was time to head back to get our host some little cakes to say thank you for the warmest hospitality. I honestly cannot sing their praises enough. They were even kind enough to drive me to the railway station, which was a two hour round trip. So I wouldn't miss the next train, bless them. I'm at the train station now and I picked up my obligatory tuna mayo onigiri and hot tea obviously. The sun was just setting off the station and it looked beautiful. And one of my favourite things about the railway system in Japan is how they label the different sections of the train. I mean, Elfat Lavender, Envil Melon, stop it. I was standing in K for kelp and got onto this local train to Sapporo. I was editing my Chinatown Lunar New Year vlog for the entire journey so I didn't end up filming. It's after three and a half hours, I've now arrived in Sapporo. I'm sleepy, I've been editing for three and a half hours and I'm so hungry. Hello from Sapporo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm so excited to be here. So look at the lights, the cityscapes. I dropped off my bags and then headed opposite to Ichiran for ramen. I know, I know, it's a chain and you may have expected better from me, but I still had a deadline to hit and I was pooped from the travel and intrigued by the hype. And it was very good actually. I'm <laughs> 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 